a great look. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 excited for this video because one of my closest closest friends is getting married and I'm one of her bridesmaids so as one of her bridesmaids I've been working on a whole bunch of different cute things for her bachelorette with my sister who is the maid of honor Natalie if you're watching this I love you <laughs> so anyways I wanted to create this video to give anyone else who is maybe setting up really cute stuff for a bachelorette some inspiration I remember when I was looking up stuff like there was just so much on Pinterest and so many cute ideas but I did see a lot of the same things in a lot of different places so I kind of grabbed some things I saw and created my own spin to it copied some things I saw on some other websites and just a whole combination of things so my goal for her bachelorette was really to be able to create a little more with the budget that I had so I was trying to make my budget go as far as possible so you're gonna notice that a lot of the things that I did I did kind of craft them myself and then some things we were able to purchase at an affordable price on Amazon or some websites that sold some wholesale items so I'll definitely share all those links with you as well and of course if you have any questions just comment down below but all in all I hope that this is super helpful for you and this will maybe just give you some ideas of what you can do and what you can create for a really good price so um, just to give you a little bit of background we are staying at the Coronado Springs in Walt Disney World Resort yes our bride loves Disney so she wanted to have her bachelorette there she loves pink so every single thing we did was inspired by pink we just wanted to give her a pink overload in a very like Disney way last but not least I did want to mention that I'm gonna be showing you three different bags that we created so we created one for like a pool day that we'll be spending at the Coronado Springs they have an awesome pool by the way if you've never been and then we also created a bag for the park day so day one is gonna be a pool day day two is gonna be a theme park day so we're going to Epcot for food and wine so much fun and then the last bag that we created was for a slumber party so I'll show you now everything that we put in there So let's get started on the first day. For the first day, I just got a white tote, which are super affordable by the way, and I just tie dyed it. She loves pink, so we gave your girl some more pink. So this is just a simple white tie dye bag. And then inside, we got some sarongs for the girls. Our bride is wearing a white kimono, and then um, we're gonna be wearing pink and black sarongs. I told all the girls to wear black. On Amazon, they offer a pink and a black one for $10 super good so i basically paid five dollars a piece so yeah we have a super cute little sarong so i got the inspiration for these glasses off a website and then i just grabbed my cricket and i made it come to life <laughs> i bought these off amazon and i'll double check the price for you but it was pretty cheap and it comes with um, a whole bunch of pink and then we ordered a separate white one for the bride so this one says babe for us and then hers says bride which i'll show you that as well we put just a nice little fancy water bottle because hello, it's gonna be hot. You can always use some water. We got some cute hair ties, super simple. You can find these off Amazon as well. They say bridesmaid. And then we make a bag of treats. In Spanish, we call these mariquitas. Um, I think they're in English, they're called plantain chips. <laughs> so yeah, we just all love these. So we were like, hey, this is super cute and easy. A snack to put in your bag in case, you know, we don't have time to go get food. We just got like three big bags and just split them up into cellophane bags. Super easy. And last but not least, this is actually one of my favorite items for the beach day. Okay, so we wanted to give them a sunscreen because obviously we were just thinking, you know, what are good like pool day essentials. So we bought a big tub of sunscreen and then we bought these foundation looking, um, I don't know what they're called really. These super cute little things off Amazon and we just filled them with sunscreen and look how chic they look. They look so like luxy and we could have put the cheapest sunscreen in here and you would never know, which we didn't, but I'm just saying, I mean, look at this presentation. So we just bought a whole bunch of these off Amazon and then just filled it with sunscreen. And that is all for this bag. So for the full day, this is what all the girls are getting. And then we also created a separate one for the bride. 
Our bride loves like small super cute bags. I will also share the link of the website that we bought this bag. Now, after we purchased it, we realized that they also sold it on Amazon. So I will share that link with you as well. If it's cheaper on Amazon, just buy it on Amazon. But it's super cute for the pool. This is something she could totally use again. Granted, it says bride, but maybe she'll use it like on her honeymoon or before then, hopefully. <laughs> so this one is for the bride. We put a lot of similar items, but we changed it up a little bit. So we put a hairbrush, super cute. It's like a wet brush. It says, I do. We gave her the sunscreen as well, a Fiji water bottle, and then these are her sunglasses. They say bride, and like I said, I put that on there with my Cricut. I'll share the link to these as well, and I can share the fonts if you're interested in making it look like that. On the same website that they sell this, I actually saw these glasses, and honestly, they were a little pricey, so I said, let me just buy them in bulk, and I will decal them myself. And that's what I did. Uh, we got her some hair ties as well, her say bride, and then some snacks. Okay, so for day two, everything was theme park related. So items that would be good for them after a day at Epcot, or just items that would be good for them at the park, things like that. So you cannot go to Disney without some Mickey ears. So that's what we did. Like I mentioned, the bride loves pink. So we are like gonna be totally pinked out by the end of this trip. <laughs> so these are some really affordable ears I bought on Amazon. These were two for $10, okay? Really, really good price. No, they are not Disney quality ears. I'm aware, yes. But they're honestly so affordable. And if you have a group of like 14 girls, like which is what we have, um, I'm sorry, spending $30 for 14 girls, fantastic if you can do it, but we were trying to do things a little bit more affordable just because we wanted to be able to give the girls so much more. So by choosing more affordable items, that's how we were able to give them a lot more. So these are honestly so perfect and I'll show you that they match perfectly with the shirt. So this is a brown tote that I purchased off Amazon. I believe, I'll have to verify the price, but I bought them in bulk in like packages of six bags and it was really fairly priced. I added the decal on myself. So that's something that I did with my Cricut and then I just ironed that right on. And then you'll notice that the font that I'm using in almost everything is kind of the same. I tried to keep it the same. The bride really loved this font. So you're gonna notice everything else is gonna be in the same font. Next in this bag, now this is our version of a hangover kit <laughs> i'm so obsessed with these i just love how they came out so much you maybe have seen something called a hangover kit on pinterest i can also share my pinterest with you all if you're interested i have a whole bunch of things pinned on there might just give you some more inspiration so it just has a little first aid sign and then i decaled it onto a mickey so i just went ahead and ironed that on and i got these satin bags for super cheap off amazon i think i have like a whole bunch left I made more than 14 just in case and we just put some essentials so unfortunately covid is still very much a thing so we put some vitamin c because hey everyone could use some vitamin c right there we put some advil because let's be honest here sometimes when you drink you get a headache and then since of course we're going to disney we put some band-aids in there and they are disney themed so they're like princess band-aids super cute so once again, these are all just small little things. These really didn't cost us like so much and it looks so cute and it just really adds to the overall look of the bag. So that is our little satin baggie. So cute. Okay, and now to show you one of my other favorite items. This one was such a steal. So it's a tumbler, but how cute is this tumbler? It's a nice blush color, which matches with the style of everything. Once again, going with the same font, keeping everything really nice and consistent. But if you love this font just as much as we do, I can go ahead and share it with you down below. I'll see if I can attach the link. I got it on the font. I believe it's called White Angelica. These were super easy to make. So I bought the tumbler plain and then I decaled it myself. So that's the only part that you would have to add yourself, which I did so with my Cricut as well. And I can share everything that I use for that. But I absolutely love these. They're like a matte blush color. I'm not sure if you can see the texture, but they're really nice and matte. And then it's like a nice blush pink. I bought these cups. Don't quote me on this, but I think I got them for like $3 each. They were so cheap. I had initially bought them on Amazon and then I found another website that sold them in bulk and they were so much cheaper so I returned them all on Amazon and mind you, it's the same company by the way. It's called Mars Tumblers I believe but the company that I purchased them from is called Save a Cup. Again, absolutely love this and I cannot wait to see all the girls' faces when they see these tumblers. 
So some other items that we did for the girls, which I really, really love, is this one. So we got some tattoos, and this one is so funny. This is the groom. <laughs> so it says, pop the champagne. Natalie is taking his name. And I got these off Etsy. So cute. And they were super easy. I screenshotted it off Instagram, sent them the photo, and they did all the work for me. So super easy, super cute, and I cannot wait to see her face when she sees those because it's just so funny. And then of course we are in Disney, so I got another tattoo that says Happily Ever After Crew. So this is another tattoo that I got for them just because it was so cute. So we tried to give everyone those both tattoos. I also bought this one off Etsy as well. A great seller. Honestly, I got it super fast and she was super nice. She even tossed in some extra ones. So yeah, definitely gonna share the link to that one as well. Okay, so don't laugh at us, but we also put some more like COVID friendly stuff. I did this all with my sister, by the way. Everything we chose to put in the bag, we did so intentionally together. Some hand sanitizer, but obviously it's pink. Once again, sticking with the theme. And then these are just some like hand sanitizer wipes. Once again, extra stuff but super useful and then to go Clorox wipes I don't know if maybe we go eat at a restaurant and they like want to wipe something down they can do that and last but not least I will show you the shirt that we designed for our beautiful bridal party so of course we went with pink <laughs> and this is the design of this shirt it's kind of like a crop top okay so it has a nice big Mickey and then on the bottom it says Brides babes. So we purchased the plain t-shirts on Amazon and I used my Cricut to design what was put on the shirt and iron it on. It's beautiful! So this was our bride's shirt. We went with a white shirt instead that we also purchased off Amazon. I designed it the same way, but for her, I did a glitter bow instead to give her that extra bridal look that she absolutely loved. All right, so the last item that we did was for the slumber party and this one was in a really cute rose gold box. So this is what we did right here. Once again, I bought these boxes off Amazon. Honestly, Amazon is pretty cheap and you can get things in bulk. We were a group of 14. So as you can imagine, gifts can get expensive. <laughs> we were really trying to make it as affordable as possible, as I've mentioned. So we grabbed this satin bow off Amazon as well. We did some cute little face masks, which you can see up there. These are lip masks and eye masks. So we'll be using that for the slumber party also. Again, very slumber party e, but if you notice, like, that's not a word. Whatever. <laughs> Very slumber party e, but this is pretty affordable, you know, and it looks so cute and how you put it together. It's really about, like, how you arrange it more than anything. And then we grabbed a little rosé. First of all, it's pink. Hello. And two, who doesn't like rosé, right? It's kind of like a sweet drink, so if your bride's not, like, the type of girl that's going to be drinking, like, tequila on the rocks, this is obviously a great option. And then some Neutrogena makeup wipes. So after dinner, I'm pretty sure the girls will have to take makeup off their face. So we thought this was super good. And to use this maybe before putting the face mask, that was the whole idea. And then the last piece is just a nice satin hair scrunchie. And once again, going with that whole slumber party theme, it's pink and yeah. All right, guys, so that is pretty much everything. So I hope that that was super helpful. I hope that maybe this gave you some ideas of some really affordable ways that you can make some really beautiful boxes for all the girls in the bridal party and really just impress your bride and make her feel totally loved. If it is helpful at all, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. It really does make such a difference to the growth of this channel. I will make sure to share the links down below for everything. If you want to know how I made anything, how I tie dyed the bags or what decals I used or you just have any questions feel free to comment down below it'll also give me some inspiration of maybe some more videos that you'd love to see as well now some tips I would give you when you are designing these boxes or bags items whatever it is you choose I highly encourage you to start as far in advance as you can I can definitely tell you that I've done a whole lot of all-nighters this week putting all this stuff together so I encourage you to do it in advance Two, I encourage you to just think about what the bride loves. I feel like that was a really good starting point, figuring out like what her style is and kind of tailoring all the bags and all the decor to kind of what she likes since our goal is to shower the bride at the end of the day. I will also share some of the bridal games that we're playing. I'll list them down below. Some really fun ones that I've done before and some really fun ones um, that we just found on Amazon that I think are gonna be super fun as well. I would also recommend kind of picking and choosing what you're gonna make and what you're just gonna buy. You can't make everything. I know that was something that I struggled with myself. I wanted to make everything because I just love to craft and just put my personal touch on things. That's the truth. But you can't unless you have like a team of crafters like next to you all the time, which most people don't. So I recommend just picking and choosing what you're going to craft yourself and what makes sense just to buy so that you can enjoy the process, make your bride happy, and hopefully not break your bank. At the end of the day, it's all about making the bride happy. So kind of try to 
relax and just remember that it will all figure itself out. You got this. And I think that's all for today. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment down below or DM me on Instagram as well. I'll put my handle down below. Um, yeah, anything that works for you, I'm always here to help. We'll see you soon. Bye.